good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Now you love, now you're casual. And you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll always choose you first. You're my baby. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So a few updates for you guys since my last vlog. I have 16 days before I am going to Egypt for an eight day holiday. So I am stressed because I have a lot of content to get ready before then. I have a lot of work to do before then because Four days after I come back from Egypt, I am going to Slovenia because I've been asked to go and present my research at a symposium. So yeah, I'm stressed. I've got a lot to do. So real quick, next update from me is that this room that you guys are used to seeing my setup in, um, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but you only ever see one side of the room. The reason being is that the other side of the room was actually a dining room. However, it is now my bedroom slash office. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour um, at some point in this video. It'll be super short because there's not much in here. Okay, third and final update. So if you guys watched my last vlog, which if you didn't, then what? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but essentially in that vlog, I was showing you guys how I plan my coding project. So I figured that I would include a little similar thing in today's vlog. And that is going to be showing you guys how you can actually make your own VS Code theme. So I have my own VS Code theme here. I think we're nearly at 2000 downloads and I do love it, obviously. However, I feel like I just want a change. I really wanna make a new theme. And yeah, I figured I would show you guys the process. So the time currently is 9.08. And yeah, I need to crack on with work now, so. Let's go and I'll see you guys at lunch. So in my last vlog, I showed you this planner that I've been using and absolutely love it. Papier actually sent me this planner, which is very, very similar to this one. So I wanted to show you it just in case you like the aesthetics of Papier ones more than Intelligent Change because yeah, the way that they are laid out is very similar. So yeah, that's gonna be my first thing to do today is to plan out my schedule for the day. Hi, let's go. Okay, so it is time to make our own VS Code theme. By the way, it is the next day. I actually didn't end up having time to do it in my lunch break because I had to give myself a refresher on how you actually do this. I just made a new light mode theme, which to be honest, I actually hate, but 
like I wouldn't use it and it would need a lot of work but just for the sake of remembering how to do it I did um, make it and publish it to the marketplace but if you search me I don't recommend using that light mode because you'll see that it's not that good so let's get started I'm gonna start screen recording okay so step number one open a terminal and we want to install yo code which is the package that we're going to be using in order to make our theme i already have it installed so all i'm going to do is just run yo code now what this is going to do is open up this little drop down menu so you want to use your arrow keys in order to navigate this menu you want to go down and then hit on new color theme actually just going to bring this over this is the guide that i've actually just made and i'm going to put this in the link of this video so if you want to just go ahead and copy the code from here you can do that so we've hit select new color theme then you just want to click no start for us then you want to choose a name for your extension so i think i'm just going to call this a genomics phd dart then you want to do identifier so i just keep it the exact same so i'm just going to hit enter again then this is where you can put a little description for your so I'm just going to put mine pink and blue dark mode theme made by a genomics PhD and then you want to select if you're making a dark mode a light mode or whatever it is I'm making a dark mode put Y there and then hit enter now what you want to do is navigate to your theme using CD so I'm just navigating to my theme there and then just type in LS just to see the contents of this directory and you should have a change log a readme a package JSON file a themes directory and then this little MD file as well. Then what we're gonna do next is open up VS Code and you want to actually open up that directory that we've just made in VS Code. Then what you should have is a file structure that looks something like this. So now this is the part where you can actually pick your colors or you can customize your colors. What you wanna do is click on themes and then open up this little file here. So now what you have here is all of the information about your theme. So these will just be all of the default themes that Yocode is, uh, sorry, all of the de default colors that Yocode has just made for you. And essentially in order to make your theme, what you wanna do is go through and change all of these different colors. However, as you can see, there is so many. So it's a little bit overwhelming. So I wanna direct you to this really handy website that we can use to actually replace these colors for us. This is a really awesome tool, which basically just helps you actually just basically rewrite this, fold, this file for you so that you don't have to worry about going through and changing every single individual thing. So what you wanna do is go through and actually just replace all of these hex colors with the colors that you actually want your theme to be. So in order to help me pick colors, I use this website called, um, I think it's called Coolers. And essentially this is a website which basically just spits out a load of different color palettes where you can actually just hover over, click, just to copy the hex code, which you can then insert in here. And then once you've put in all of your colors, all you wanna do is click on, give me my theme just like that. And then it's gonna spit out this bit of code that you can add into your JSON file. So click into this box and then just copy this whole code block. This is where you want to basically copy in. So delete everything in here and then just copy in that file that we have literally just copied from that website. Okay, so once we've done that, click on save. Obviously we wanna make sure that we actually like it before we go through all the hassle of publishing it. So this is where we can use VS Code Theme Debugger. So to use the Theme Debugger, all you have to do is go up to the little top bar here, click on Run, and then click on Start Debugging. And this should automatically open a new window, just like this, which is gonna show us how our theme is looking currently. And then what you can actually do is play about with the code in order to make it absolutely perfect, or however you want it to look. So I'm just editing this back and realised that I forgot to tell you guys that you'll see that every single time I'm making changes to this file, I'm clicking the little refresh button on the theme debugger so that I can see any changes that I've just made actually take effect in my theme. So yeah, make sure you're doing that and also make sure when you're done, you hit save. So once you have done that, you've perfected your theme. We now want to get it on to the marketplace. 
So first step in getting it on to the marketplace is to go to Azure DevOps. Um, I'm gonna put the link on the guide. So if you haven't already, then click the guide in the description, just so you can copy and paste the link or you can just Google search it. Okay, then once you've logged in, you should see a page that looks something similar to this. So you wanna come up here into the little right-hand corner, click on user settings and then click on personal access tokens, click on new token and it's gonna come up with this little thing here. So basically you just wanna type in the name. I'm just gonna call it the same as my theme name. Then you wanna come down into organization, make sure that you've clicked all accessible organizations, then head to expiration and click on custom defined, which I think defaults to a year from now. Scroll down to show all sco scopes, and then you just wanna go ahead and find marketplace, which is here and make sure that you've hit manage and then click on create. I'm just gonna go ahead and save mine into my notes on my computer. Okay, so now we have our personal access token. We wanna to go to marketplace.visualstudio.com, manage, and you wanna create a publisher. Now here, all you need to do is insert your publisher name and then your publisher ID, and then go ahead and click on create. Okay, then we wanna head back into VS Code and you now want to open up your package JSON file. So this JSON file basically contains some information about your theme and now we need to add some information to here. So first up, we need to add some information about the publisher. So again, I've put this code on the little guide that I've put in the description. Now for the GitHub URL, basically you just need to make sure that you have uploaded all of these files into a GitHub repository. Copy and paste the link in here, just so anytime you make changes, then you can make sure that they're committed. So you're gonna go ahead and open up a terminal and now what you wanna do is install VSCE. Then once you've installed it, you wanna run VCSE login and this is where you want to put your publisher IDs. The mine was live codes. Then basically it's going to ask for your personal access token. I'm just going to go to where I've saved that. Copy that and then I'm going to enter it in there. Then what you want to do is actually package off your theme. So, so we run VSE package, click on yes. So now we've packaged it. Now what we need to do is publish it. So to do this, we're going to put VCSE publish, click on Y, and there we go. We have now published it to the marketplace. There we go. Got it, hit install. As I mentioned, I'm popping in the description this guide that I've actually made, which runs through everything I've just done step by step. So make sure to go ahead and download that. I put some little tip boxes on here as well to make sure that you don't miss anything. Anyways, hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and I'll see you guys next time. I definitely have makeup on this jumper. So let's also ignore that. Anyways, they sent me this beautiful necklace, which has a little G on it. Um, I got G because my boyfriend's name begins with G and also my last name is G. Okay, and then they also sent me this beautiful tennis bracelet in the shade gold. I used to have one of these, but I broke it. Um, so yeah, anyways, okay, so I'm setting myself a task to see how many questions I can answer in the next two minutes. Oh my God, this bit on my face is so itchy. Ah, oh, don't you hate when you've got an itch and you've got makeup on, so you like don't want to smudge it, but it's like, it's so itchy. I'm giving myself an extra 15 seconds to go onto Instagram. Let's see how many questions we can answer. First question is, do I still code in Julia? Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, I started learning Julia. It's a programming language. 
used in data science, it's very similar to R and Python. I did a beginner course and intermediate. And have I started the advanced? No, I haven't touched Julia in a very long time, which is awful. I have no good excuse. I simply just haven't made time. Um, we all do it, that's fine. I do need to continue because otherwise I'm gonna forget everything. I'm gonna be back at square one. So I haven't coded in Julia in a while, but thank you for the reminder, I really need to. How many times a week do I work out? Five times a week. And I do a mix between weight training and pole. Number three, does YouTube Insta help a lot with money and stuff? Love your blogs. Thank you so much. And yes, it absolutely does. Content creation can be an amazing side hustle um, if you want it to be. How are you finding adjusting to non-PhD life? I'm absolutely loving it. You could not pay me to go back and do my PhD again. Um, next one, what type of development do I do? So there's many different types of careers uh, in coding that aren't development. So I'm not a developer, I am a bioinformatician. Uh, specifically, I'm a research scientist um, studying motor neuron disease. Uh, okay, where is my desk from? It's the flexi spot from E7. Um, I'm from Egypt, do you like Egypt? I'm coming to Egypt in 16 days, I'm very excited um, for a holiday. Okay, um, how much sleep do I get? Roughly between seven and eight hours. Is that enough? Probably not, I don't know. Um, uh, oh my gosh, I'm starting to get, I'm feeling the pressure, I'm feeling the pressure. Ultra wide, is it Samsung G9? No, I actually have the electric ultra wide, which is a budget ultra wide. Um, it's amazing in every single way, except the picture quality is absolutely rubbish. So if you are a gamer or a video editor or anything like that, I do not recommend this ultra wide. However, if you're someone who wants to try out an ultra wide and you don't want to fork out two grand, it's amazing. So I recommend it for those people. Um, yeah, that's two minutes up. That was stressful. Oh, I hate that sound. I literally hate that sound. It gives me anxiety. Um, I am now, what's the time? It is 3.13. I am going to try and work until six. I need to get a drink as well. <laughs> Thank you.